here we are folks. It's time to have another fancy MRE, this time in an abandoned, what I believe is, security shack slash gatehouse. We were here once again in South Deering at approximately 110th in Torrance. Not a very large structure, basically one and a half rooms. And then we've got a stairwell that leads underground that is unfortunately filled with water. Now it doesn't go very far in there. I don't know if you could see. And I'm going to imagine it turns left, uh, which would be east. And I think I know why. Wisconsin Steel closed in 1980. It was demolished about 10 years later in the early 90s. It was here since the mid to late 1800s. It was really the first integrated steel plant on the southeast side to close, a precursor to all the others which followed over the next 20 years. Acme's Coke plant is only about two blocks south on the other side of Torrance, and Acme's furnace plant was just on the other side of the Calumet at 107th. I explored this small building a couple years ago and posted a video about it. At the time, I assumed it was a building related to the railroad because there's a, sort of a rail yard right next to us. There's five tracks. There's a couple trains sitting there right now. There were a couple people mentioned in the comments and it made sense. This would be one of the multiple entrances to the plant. They used a tunnel to get underneath all those tracks. You'll find the sidewalk on the east side of Torrance when there's not much there. And I think that's evidence of the fact that there once was something there. There is an excellent documentary about Wisconsin Steel and about the effects on families when it closed. It's called Exit Zero and it is available on YouTube. I'll link in the description. Highly recommended. But that's enough history for today. Why are we really here? Let's have a look. This is why we're here. We've got a fancy MRE in our hands from Yumai, who made the first one I ate uh, in the coal bunker across the street, and it was really good. This one is spicy tofu stew with rice. This is the first one I've had with rice, so I'm very curious how that will turn out. How many packets will we get? I don't know. We've got some freeze-dried tofu. Looks like we've got maybe just tofu and rice. I don't know. Let's open her up. Yeah, that is freeze-dried for sure. Feels like got a styrofoam quality to it. We've got uh, probably like a little garnish pack, or maybe this is the, uh, must be the sauce, like kind of like a bouillon, the spiciness, the heat, and this must be our rice. Oh, what do you know? Of course we have more stuff. We have got some uh, thick soy-based stuff. Here's our garnish. And a very exciting looking FRH. Don't mind the noise, we've got trucks occasionally roaring by on Torrance Avenue, which is about five feet to my left. Pour the tofu, vegetarian meat, seasoning, and scallions into the other tray and add water. Once again, Yumai comes through with the big portion. Ooh, we got some redness to that seasoning. Mmm, ooh, that's got some heat. Nice and loose on this one. All righty, we're live. FRH is so fat, I almost can't get the food in there. Close her up, there we go. 15 minutes or so, we'll see how she's doing. Coming through today with yet another silly hat. This one was uh, crocheted for me by a friend years ago. I have a friend that uh, owns a number of these beer can type hats. So of course I had to uh, laboriously go through the beer. That's some Ska Brewing cans there. I haven't seen Ska 
beer in a store in some time. They're based out of Durango, Colorado. And I used to drink that stuff time to time. This one especially, the Modus Hopperandi. I have the hat to commemorate some wonderful drinking that I did once upon a time. Our MRE is perking away, I can hear it, and it's gonna be quite tasty. They're so overfilled, I'm afraid to pop this thing off and splatter my lunch. This definitely needs a stir to incorporate that goju jang. Here we are, eating yet another fancy MRE in an abandoned place. This time it's a gatehouse, Wisconsin Steel, South Deering, Chicago. Let's eat. One bite of this. Yumai has the, the fancy MRE game on lock. This is like home cooked food and that is hot. That is a hefty portion of rice. That goes perfectly with, there's just enough sauce in here. The quality on this is second to none. I had Chinese food twice this week and uh, it was more than edible both times. If this was something on the menu, it's a no-brainer. I'd order it every time. <clears throat> and I've had a fair number of tofu dishes uh, from Chinese places, and, and many were good. This is very spicy and excellent. And that rice, you'd have trouble knowing that that was made in a abandoned gatehouse and not straight out of a rice cooker. It literally has a texture of the white rice that you get from the Chinese restaurant that they pack into the box, and it's got just enough gluey... Uh, character about it. It's just uh, a familiar texture that we all know and love. I'm trying to carefully meter out my rice so um, I have enough sauce to go with it. <coughs> oh, man, yeah, this has got a lot of that fruity gochujang character that I kind of got when I just tasted it off. My finger is gone. Now this is getting not quite sledgehammer heat, but hot. All right, now I'm starting to find that uh, meat analog. It's not only soy based, it's actually like a uh, seitan. Vital wheat gluten is the uh, second ingredient. Soybean, vital wheat gluten, soybean protein, starch, salt, soy sauce, and uh, MSG basically. Excellent. Find yourself a Yumai, even if you gotta order it on the internet, you won't be disappointed. The tofu is perfect, again, I don't know that I would know that was freeze-dried. It is softer than what I prefer. This is not in the silken uh, territory. It's edging towards that end of the spectrum. It's hard to say which is better. This or that like uh, all veg, all veg one that I had at the Coke plant. It, it's, they're different enough to make it an unfair comparison, but both really good. If I serve this to you and put it in a bowl and you were in my house, You'd say, oh, great cooking, Eric. It's delicious. That is unbelievable. Clean Plate Club, once again. Highly recommend you my. Cannot say enough about them. Great packaging, killer heat. You my is at the top of the game for the self-heating meals. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for coming along on this awesome journey down to my stomping grounds here on Torrance Avenue in South Deering. Thanks for uh, coming by. Get yourself a Yumai. Bye and bye. Bye bye.